everyone welcome back to stellar zone i trust that you all are having a fantastic week all right if this is your first time on stellar zone i want to say thank you and welcome to stellar zone if you're not subscribed please hit that red subscribe button it's free of charge and also the notification bell icon so that whenever i upload a video you will be notified thank you let's get into today's video okay it's going to be nice and simple what is stella making today all right so today i'm going to be making coconut curry okay um it's going to be spicy and savory because i'm going to be i'm going to have potatoes in it some um, bell peppers on this you, trust me you're going to love it and we're going to have some chicken in it as well so without wasting much of your precious time let's get started i'm going to start off um chopping up some of the veggies and then i'll introduce you to the rest of the ingredient what do you say all right all right so let me walk you through the most i mean important of the ingredients okay so I have about five potatoes cleaned, peeled. I have um, two large and between small and medium. Okay, and I have a half of a large green bell pepper, a half of a medium bell pepper, all cleaned. Okay, so take the seeds out and clean it. And then I'm going to use half of a medium sized uh, regular onions. Okay, yellow onion. And so I'm going to start off by cutting my potatoes or chopping it up or dicing it whichever way it depends if you're going to use this as a side dish okay if you're going to have it with rice you can cut the potatoes um smaller but if you're going to have this uh this curry sauce as a meal then you can cut the potatoes um bigger okay and i'm going to try and go for in between So this is what you're looking for, all right? So I'm gonna go ahead and cut my potatoes up. So the potatoes is done now. We're going to move on to our bell peppers and the onion, okay? So you don't wanna slice, you don't wanna cut this up like too thin, all right? You want it like chunky in the sauce. <clears throat> all right, so. We're going to have about this size, okay? We're going to cut them up about this size. Feel free, play with the recipe, you know? Never follow the recipe. Add your own twist to this recipe. So now this is um, smoked chicken, okay? This We made this over the weekend. So I'm going to I'll be adding this to the sauce that I'm going to make. So I'm just going to um, cut this up. But our vegetables are ready, okay? The bell peppers with the onion is all chopped up. The potatoes is all cut up. So now I'm going to work on the chicken and we will start cooking, okay? Don't worry, I'm going to have a recipe uh, for this on how we made this delicious smoked chicken on my channel you can we do have a smoker but you can use the oven as well so let's chop this up this is some serious knife so let's go through the rest of the ingredients okay so you guys know we have our bell peppers and our onions here's our chicken okay I'm going to be using this zesty curry blend that I, I think I got this as a gift from my mother-in-law. So I'm going to use it. it. Smells amazing. I'm going to use some coconut milk. And I'm going to be using, of course, the Thai green curry paste. And this is some homemade um, spicy paste that I made, spicy pepper paste that I made. And I'm of course I'm going to be using some chicken broth. Okay, store bought chicken broth. You can make your own at home. So let's just get cooking. So I'm starting off with just a little bit of oil, about one teaspoon of oil. Alright, I'm using I used coconut oil. I'm going to be adding some of my homemade green chili paste. I'm going to use a generous amount. Okay. 
Make sure you are doing this on medium to low heat. Next, I'm going to be adding some of the green curry paste. You can use the red one if you want. I think it comes with um, whether it's like the green is supposed to be hot and the red is supposed to be uh, milder. So this is going to be a spicy dish because the weather calls for it. Mix this in here. I'm adding about a cup of chicken broth. And I'm going to be adding one teaspoon of my zesty curry blend. Okay, this is optional. Mix it all in. And then I'm going to be adding my coconut milk. This is unsweetened coconut milk. Okay, make sure you get the unsweetened one. So shake it and then. So I'm going to be adding the whole can. This is 13.6, I would say 13.7 ounces. And then I'll go in again. I'm going to rinse this out with one cup of chicken stock and then I'll add it again. So all together I have the three cups of chicken stock plus the one can of the coconut milk, unsweetened coconut milk with my the curry blend and the sauces that i added i'm going to bring this to a boil sorry i'm going to bring this to a boil and then we'll add the potatoes so this is looking good and we're going to be adding our potatoes gentle mm. and so we're going to let this cook for 10 minutes okay we're going to let the potatoes cook for 10 minutes or thereabout, and then we'll add that chicken and then the rest of the um, vegetables. It's looking good. Because of the potato, you know, the sauce is thickening up. And so I'm going to be adding my chicken. And then we'll cook that. Um, with the sauce and potatoes for an additional five minutes. I'm going to be adding my all time favorite seasoning, the Badia seasoning. Now the last, the last thing I'm going to add is the bell peppers with the onion. Okay. That's the last thing I'm going to add and you don't, I'm not going to overcook this. Okay. You don't need to overcook this. So once you mix it in, just let it cook, cook for about two minutes and then take it off the stove, okay? You can add some carrots to sweeten it up, you know, if you want some sweet taste. But this is perfect. This. I'm telling you, I can't wait for Steven to try this. This is amazing, okay? You're going to love this. Your family is going to love it. This will be your secret. Your secret. <laughs> So we'll be back after um, two to three minutes to turn off the stove and turn off the stove and taste it. Perfecto, perfecto. Now, whoo, you gotta taste the sauce. Whoo, mm, it's on another level. Trust me, your, baby, your family's gonna love this recipe. Like, comment, share, subscribe. If you've not subscribed, please hit that red subscribe button. So from Stella Zone's kitchen to your kitchen make this a fun cooking experience for your family they are going to love it let this be your secret trust me steven loves it right babe 100 <laughs> yeah. percent. yeah so like comment share subscribe until i come your way again with another video remain in god and have a blessed week all right guys bye bye bye, -bye.